Hello and welcome to episode 10 of our Timberborn Update 5 playthrough with the Iron Teeth here, cycle 20, day 1. Brand new cycle after last episode. And what we did last time, extended this area out a little bit, started blasting here, and set the eventual goal of having this entire thing removed so we can have a straight-in approach to our water wheel channel. Maybe do a little bit of water folding, Skystorm style, and continue generating obnoxious amounts of power. Currently, these things are only generating about 500 apiece, but when they get going, they get up to about 1250, 1300 currently. And we've got plenty more that we're able to get to just as soon as we have everything taken care of here. So there's a few things we want to do today, chiefly among with which, excuse me, have to get this knocked out, this extended all the way up and make that 90 degree turn. Secondarily, I want to train this out so we can harvest these trees and maybe blast this out a little bit deeper because what I want to do is I want to have this be a big bad water pumping district so we can export back over here. Although these guys currently have plenty. I don't think we really need to be worried about that. And outside of that, once this metal is all gone, I want to blast this down. Probably not happening today, but eventually want to blast this down, expand our tree farming around here, and maybe even get this whole thing level. That's going to be a lot of dynamite, but I think we can do it, considering that now dynamite is pretty much just made from bad water. So if we pump enough bad water and we build enough of these explosives factories, I think we can get it done. Still is going to take a really, really long time, though. So that is uh, what we're going to find ourselves doing today. See what we can get done and move on from there. Other things we might want to eventually do, uh, including moving water, pumping over here, is probably going to take a little bit of time. But we can start uh, the process of getting down there by detonating a, a little staircase into the uh, cliffside here. Because we have right here an opportunity to pretty much get all the way down as far as uh, I can tell. This is going to have to go down one, that'll go down two, that'll go down three, this will go down four, this will go down five. And I think that's about as high as this actually goes. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's actually perfect. So that is what we will find ourselves doing. I'll go ahead and put in uh, a three down here. And we're just going to have to do this uh, one piece at a time. I know it's everybody's everybody's favorite thing ever to do this in chunks. But if we can get this done, we can go across the river here. And then we can put a dam here and start working on making this into a big good water pumping district. Which will actually be a little bit closer than down here. Now, all that being said, we still do have all of this to take care of, and that's obviously a slightly higher priority. But I think we get stuff done. We got a little bit of time today. Try to keep this one a little bit shorter because you guys have been very patient about the, uh, the longer episodes. But we'll, we'll see what we can get done. I also want to see uh, if we can get uh, this to be a good buffer for the bad water when the bad tides come in. Whenever we get another one, we have I think we just had the one. Maybe, maybe two at this point here in cycle 20. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I've been doing a whole lot of different things lately. But uh, if we get a bad tide at this time, I want to find out if just this empty could stop it. And secondarily, as somebody suggested in the comments last time, uh, filling this with good water, if that ends up stopping the uh, progression of the bad water uh, infection or whatever you want to call these little tendrils. So we'll see. We got some got some ideas, got some options, and of course we want to get this uh, area blasted down as well as these soybeans are taken care of. But food-wise, we're looking really, really good. We've got lots of stuff in storage, and we have lots of opportunity, but we don't have a lot of water because, well, we, uh, I guess, just kind of ran out. But these guys are going to get back up to the task, and I'm sure everything will be fine. It's just kind of weird having all the water pumping here it's definitely not ideal and we need to uh, do something about that which is kind of what all of this is but they are uh, certainly going to be taking their time on this as far as prioritization this is uh, deprioritized 
to try and make sure other stuff can get accomplished. So I think that means we're going to see uh, somebody coming over here to try and uh, get the rest of this blasted out, which would be nice because then we could actually start properly pumping over here. We have plenty of wood and there's also some over here. So not the end of the world. I do kind of want to completely dam this whole thing up right here and make like a big reservoir. I don't think it'd be that hard to do. We just need to keep the bad water out of it or as out of it as we can because, you know, this does potentially have the ability to turn into bad water. So I think I'm going to want to put in a shunt uh, over here on this side to try and divert it out if that ends up being uh, something that happens. But Triple Dynamite is in the process of being put down. Let's go into turbo mode here. I don't know why I started calling it that, but, you know, it works. There he comes. Set this thing off. And bam. Done just like that. We'll put in that double dynamite. And then um, I'll put in another triple dynamite here. Then that will have to have a single dynamite done up. But once this is blasted out, we can just have all of this go at the same time. The remaining three and then one. Should not be that big of a deal. And here they come with these other bits. Just got to wait for the rest. And we probably could do with some more uh, explosives storage. But right now this is good to go here. So let's do that. We have all this stuff getting done down here. We do have this explosive storage, which seems to be doing, um, I guess, okay. Do I dare put storage? I, th I think I probably should, just for the sake of uh, getting stuff taken care of, because there is going to be a lot more blasting we want to do over here. Uh, this is still that first district, right? Yeah. Let's just put a storage here for some explosives. Prioritize this. Get them to uh, take care of that. I'll make sure this is set to obtain. Should not be that big of a problem here. Everything else is going well. Water supply is slowly ticking up. Now that's our triple dynamite. We'll set our single. And that will be perfect. And then a triple. And then a double. And then a single here. I love having single, double, triple dynamite. This is a fantastic addition to the game. And it's cool to see the actual, I guess, organic design change as the, uh, the explosive charge gets bigger. Very, very cool. So that's done. So just more and more and more. Triple dynamite. I'll set all these off at once, uh, once this final one is in place. Of course, they're going to want to build the stairs first. You know, that's uh, always how that works. The two by uh, bridge here. Oh, not quite long enough. Not quite. We'll have to unlock the three by. But hey, we have a ton of size. We have over 11,000. So that's not going to be a problem. The three by is fine there. And the two by will be fine here. Now, the fun thing is going to be when this eventually gets too tall to deal with. Uh, we'll have to end up uh, fixing this. But that won't come for a little bit of time. Let's set this off. It would be kind of cool if they had a, uh, a different sound for each of those, but, you know, I'll take it. It's fine. So that's looking good there. That's looking good here. Uh, first step, like I said, is to try and corral some of this water here. And I think the easiest way to do that is going to be to just build a uh, set of levees along the shore here. And we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. I think for the sake of uh, actually accomplishing something, though, it's going to be a little bit more important for us to have a uh, a diversion channel for the bad water, which we'll have to uh, kind of carefully engineer here. But I think it's going to be smart to have... Uh, let's do... Uh, three wide? I don't know. We'll... We'll, we'll figure it out. Obviously, we're not going to be able to be that worried about this at this exact moment in time. But a good starting point to keep uh, the good water good and the bad water bad will be to just put a couple of dam pieces across right here. Just to keep stuff from super overflowing. Actually, hold on. No, I have a better idea. I have a better idea. Because the bad water is going to backflow this unless... It can't because it's below the good water. So we actually do actually do want to have this set up as a, a proper 
proper lobby first, and that's rotated the wrong way, which absolutely nobody except me cares about, but that's fine. So this actually needs to be uh, probably, uh, probably floodgates actually would be fine. But that's a good start right here. I kind of want to make this level so we have more of a uh, more of a storage. So if I actually did that, we could make this into a bunch of triple floodgates. Uh, five wide, six wide is probably fine because well, it is it is five different blocks, so I don't think it hurts to have this set here like so. But this right here. It's going to end up being uh, something. I think is probably the best way to describe it. We'll just have that set like so. We will have to remove the bridge, but you know we have to get across here anyway. So we'll see uh, see what happens with that. And the easy thing to do right now is to just have them walk through here. I don't think they're going to get infected with uh, the bad water disease, but I. I don't think I want to chance it after seeing how incredibly long it takes to actually get that taken care of. I just really, really don't want to mess with that. So what we'll do instead is just do a little bit of that. Build this little bit of wall first and uh, do what we have to do when we have to do it now. Now the rest of this over here is actually looking pretty good. We've got dynamite that hasn't... Uh, quite made its way over here yet. If we prioritize that by haulers, that should help. And in terms of actual haulers, we have 7 out of 10, so maybe could use a few more. Maybe just a few. Let's get this taken care of also. Uh, soybean amounts, we still have plenty, so I'm not going to worry about planting more of those. The canola oil seems to be slowly recovering, but we definitely could use more. I think it's going to catch up. Once all of these cycle through a couple times, I don't think we need to be that concerned about it, but this is already uh, already going quite well, I think. I'll just I'll keep these triple floodgates down at zero just to make sure that uh, we don't accidentally drown any beavers here. Yeah, they're going to be quite busy with that for a while, so why don't, we, uh, why don't we give them a little bit of a helping hand and put in... A couple of these uh, industrial piles will have logs. And uh, we'll probably need some planks. Just so these guys can uh, have some localized building material. Not have to schlep everything all the way across the map. Should be a pretty good thing. Alright, look at this. Look at this. We're already, uh, already making some good strides here. And now that we have this going across, I have to think about... Do I want to keep this here or do I want to have uh, do I just want to have this all be completely uh, in a straight line because we're making a bunch of power making almost 1300 and it's only going to get better 46% contamination right here okay so I wonder it's probably very little right here but it's probably starting to get a little bit of contamination right there fortunately we don't have any contaminated beavers currently I think the other ones had died before they could get healed, which is unfortunate. But here comes planks and logs prioritized by haulers, get that filled up. And then the builders can just, you know, take care of all this, and then we'll have everything figured. Ah, oh, you know what I didn't do? I did not put in any way to get down here. Alright, so here let's let's try this since we have the uh, we have the stream gauge. Let's just put one of the... I can't build that there. Let's put this here. And see what the contamination is. Because if it's not... If it's not contaminated, I'll just build a set of stairs. So I know we have at least a couple of days to get this taken care of. Look how much faster this stuff goes when they can just go to the storage right here. That's fantastic. 0% contamination. Good. So that is what we will do. We'll just build some stairs. And they can uh, build the rest of these floodgates. That's exciting. Love to see when a plan comes together. Assuming this stays at 0% contamination and that this block that they're going to have to stand on is 0% contamination. Only the finest of science in a beaver death prevention here. 
So I know they're probably not gonna probably not gonna do this one first. They're probably gonna do this one first, if I had to guess. I don't know. We'll see. We can come back to this at a later point in time. But we also have some uh there we go. This can come all the way down here. Yeah, I've got to get this this levied up. No, don't put that there. Put that there, put that there, there we go. I want to get this whole thing, whole thing triple stacked so we can make sure we're in a good shape. This will be very nice to have this super irrigated, nice big freshwater reservoir because this is the largest single uh, repository of good water source on the whole map. So that's good to see. Another thing we can do is we can bring in a little bit of logging activity here by putting in a lumberjack flag. This guy should be able to reach a decent bit so far before they cut everything else down and get access to that upper area, but we'll go ahead and get this locked and loaded. All right, cool beans. That's gonna be nice. And none of these beavers have contamination. Love to see it. Now we can take care of that. That's gonna be nice. All right, so we can let them do that for a little bit. Come back over here, and uh, not a whole lot, uh, not a whole lot going on. We do have pumping, which is good, and we've got our large water tank uh, keeping these beavers alive here in District Two. Which, by the way, you can submit a name for. Uh, we will have a vote before the next episode at the end of this week. So uh, get your ideas in now, and I will of course run a poll sometime during this week so we can decide what this district's going to be named. Uh, spoiler alert, this will probably also be a different district. But we haven't gotten quite that far yet. I want to make sure this construction is mostly finished. All right, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. And once this is in place, uh, I do want to go ahead and get this area, uh, I guess, have some sort of a diverter type thing set up. But I just am not quite sure where I want that to be. It's going to have to be some sort of a, some sort of weird design thing. Because this triple height is all I got to work with in this version of the game. So I don't think I can really have this be any higher than that. So it's probably actually fine if I have a line of floodgates. Maybe it wouldn't have to be triples. It could just be the regulars. Uh, line of floodgates here that we would shut in the event of bad water. And then just have this go all the way through here. And have all of our pumping infrastructure up in this area. But I kind of want to have bad water diversion come through here. Well... Regardless, I think what we're going to want to do is have this be two blocks deep here. I guess I could just go three wide for most of this. Create like kind of a little spillway thing and have this just be one. Because this is also going to need to be single deep. I think that's fine. Should be okay. We'll have a, we'll have a floodgate set... Uh, Maybe somewhere right about uh, right about here. Got to get a pathway in there first, though. So let's send these guys up this way. Should be able to reach all of this now. Too far? Oh, of course, because the stairs aren't built yet. But good progress being made. Let's just prioritize these stairs real quick so they can, you know, take care of all of this. And I will prioritize all of our dynamite here. Just in case, just in case we're going to get a bad tide, I want to be able to make sure I can divert this and still pump out of here. But this is looking good. Good progress here. We are going to have to have this go a little bit higher, which I think we've already talked about. That's fine. Nope, just a regular drought. All right. A little disappointing, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah, the problem with having uh, only... So I just have the one okay no I, I do have I do have eight beavers assigned to be builders I think no actually but I have empty uh, I have empty jobs so maybe we don't need to uh, don't need to be worrying about it quite yet and I'm kind of uh, kind of really interested to see how we can uh, do with this 
Dynamite's looking good. Extract, we have... Uh, wow, well, we got 1,200 extract. Nice. So that's looking good. Uh, I think we can go ahead... We do need more bad water pumping, which is something I was going to mess with here. But I wanted to make sure I could pump this completely dry first. So why don't we... Uh, yeah, I'll just take this staircase out and we'll just we'll just build straight across here. I want to completely dam this up so all of the bad water has to go out through here once uh, that gets moved. So then we can pump this out and we can uh, make this whole thing into a bad water pumping area. Take uh, some of this whole thing down because you know this this isn't going to be a regular waterfall here anymore. It's all going to go that way. When that's all done, we can uh, just remove these things and that'll be fine. Now, the bad thing about the way stuff is set up now is I have to keep pumping with this because that's what we have. I don't really have too many other options here. I could put some pumps in right here, I suppose, but this whole area is going to be flooded uh, pretty quick. I guess that's not the worst thing in the world to just have some temporary pumps to... Uh, keep things going, so I guess we could just build some of these. Not the worst thing ever. We've got plenty of other stuff we could and probably should be focusing on, but, you know, it all kind of runs together. There's the different things you want to take care of at different rates, different times. It can't all be bad. I do need to fix this surging, though, and I think people seem to have come to the conclusion in the comments that it's because of the pumps. Uh, causing uneven cycling of water flowing in and out this way. So this, they're probably going to go away. Still going to keep this big reservoir here, but I think we're fine without these being right there, especially once we have robust hauling set up, taken care of. So we can just pump all the stuff here and just schlep it on up here for beavers to do what they want to with it, which hopefully is drink it and not die. But yeah, we got quite a bit of stuff to do. They did start uh... Oh, how did they Oh, they came in from up top. I was about to say they can't walk in here because I took the stairs out. So I was trying to figure out how exactly they were doing that but I guess they can't uh, can't get away with too much of that anymore. These are down prioritized so obviously they have not been constructed yet and that's fine because, well, we're not in a position to use the water. So I'd rather have this I'd rather have this taken care of. Let's, um, I forgot to prioritize the construction, just the workplace. <laughs> My fault. But, but, since this is about to be a drought, I think I can get away with uh, raising our water here a little bit. It is starting to, uh, it is starting to backflow just a touch. But uh, all this flooding will go away. Uh, eventually. <laughs> Once this is all said and done, it'll it'll start filling up. And actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's completely raise this. So then we get a bunch of water draining into this little pool. Want to hold on to that for sure. And then after this is done, I can raise or lower this. Excuse me. That was fast. Okay. Well, we can just leave that all the way up. Is this contaminated at all? 0% contamination. Love to see it. That is good news. Man, this is orange. It's super orange. So this is looking nice. This is going to give us a chance to put in our diverter. Our diverter stuff. I think I might want to I might want to demolish this down a little bit too. We'll see. Got some stuff we can uh, get into if we so choose. Yeah, they're definitely not going to get to any of this until the rest of this is all all built up here. That's fine. We got enough uh, stuff to worry about here. Although I, I do wish they would have built these water pumps before uh, it was too late. Because there's not going to be that much water to pump out of here. And I can't really turn these off because we're going to go through this water real quick. Well, at 200 a day, we'd run out about two days left in the drought. So, yeah, yeah I guess it's fine. I, can't, I just can't get used to not having the kits. It's like, where's all the beaver children? Like, well, no, we did this like in, I don't, I don't know, episode two, episode three, where we just only, it only spits out adult beavers. 
just a little bit cursed, just a little bit. So I want to know why they're not uh, why they're not building. Did I super prioritize it? No, I didn't. They're just okay. That no, that's exactly why those they still have to put these in. All right, so I guess I need to super prioritize the that now it clicks. There we go. Good job. Got to get these going. Definitely. Oh, look at look at look how efficient this is. I love this. Good, good, good. Prioritize that by haulers and get pumping. Let's go. Such a good idea to have the materials where you're actually building stuff. I really need to do that more often. People always ask me, hey, why don't you do this? And my answer is always just, you know, I don't think about it. But that, that made that super easy. And the construction of all the rest of the stuff, too. Let's not forget that. So that's very exciting stuff. And I just need a couple more of these dynamites to be put in place. And then we can detonate this whole thing out. And I think that is going to be a very, very good start to us. It is going to cause some bad water to kind of flow back into here, but it can't get up here because there's a level drop off. So should be uh, should be okay. They're going to continue working on this stuff. I'm going to have to give them a uh, staircase here. At least for right now, we might blast this out later, but I don't have the uh, don't have the ability to get into that. Unless uh, you know what. You know what? <laughs> There's no rule that says I can't just blow this up right now. <laughs> oh, is this, is this stupid or what? <laughs> oh man, they're not going to get to this for a while though. This is all ready to go, so let's... Uh, there we go. Blast this out too. Cool, so that is going to work, uh, work out really nicely here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mm, I guess I did this incorrectly, huh? I only need the two high floodgates here. So I'll build these right across here. I realize they can't reach the other two because I uh, a little bit short sighted. So we'll put this right behind that should be OK. So this is going to stop the flow of bad water or I guess stop the flow of good water out. And if it ever becomes bad water, we just lower this and it zoop, right like that. Oh, you're defeating the mechanic. Yes, I am. That's, that's how gameplay works. But I think right here should be uh, should be a okay, just like this. And this level of height is about all we can really deal with. Actually, since this hasn't been built yet, We can make this look a whole lot nicer if we just uh, blow this up too. We're not in crisis mode yet, so that's fine. That doesn't need to be a thing yet. This doesn't need to be a thing yet. But what does need to be a thing is all of this. That and especially these guys here in the corners. Would like to have that accomplished. I don't think they can reach all this quite yet. Uh, probably can only reach, once the stairs in place, probably can only reach up to about here. So that's actually probably of substantial concern, <laughs> substantial concern for us. So I guess I'll just have all of this be prioritized as well. So we can eventually get our way in here. But I just want to make sure that this uh, two block high levy looks nice. Probably completely irrelevant for me to worry about that, but... It is what it is. Now the bad news is this is just about empty, but the good news is uh, we've managed to get a little bit more water out of this. I think this is probably already dry. Yep. Yeah. See, this was just not a uh, sustainable solution for this many beavers. Yep. This is already dry. Okay. Yeah. Pause that. Have these guys go do literally anything else. That's uh, that's fine, I suppose. Now, these three beavers don't have anything to do, so I'm going to... Uh, well, not like they can really build anything anyway. But I guess we could start... I uh, guess we could start detonating stuff. No real reason not to. Maybe not up here. But since this is all dry... 
All right, now I gotta think about this. I think I can get. I think I could just get all of this down, but I'm not gonna not gonna worry about it that much yet. I need to make sure we can pump this out. So, oh man, they can't even get to this. Uh, I have the three by bridge unlocked. Is that gonna allow me to build anything else? Uh, okay, I can get another two blocks of this built. Uh, this requires metal. I'm not gonna get that. I don't know. I think I might just be overthinking it, honestly. These guys are so busy doing uh, everything else here. So this is in place. So I don't know why they can't get to these first, but it's fine, I suppose. Let them do what they got to do. So I guess this is all actually accessible. I did not think that would be the case. So I, I didn't really need to blow up all this. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, let's grab these. Uh, what's the range of this? Oh, he can get almost uh, get almost all the way over there. So since we have the technology, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's start building that all the way up. Because that can go here. I am not going to detonate this down because I see there is bad water there. So that's, that's just going to stay like it is. That's fine. That will go that way, that will go that way. I'll take these paths out. That'll get blocked there, so that will be nice once that's done. And then I can start detonating behind here to store more water. This is just... Okay, they can't reach that. Good. Let's do this. So they can get to that, and I can start doing all of this. Yeah, I think this is a little more important to get done right now than all of this over here because we are generating tons of power and more than enough, but we really, really need to get our water taken care of because as of now, we are uh, just about out and we still have two days left. So that is definitely not ideal. Unfortunately, there's some of this stuff we just kind of have to uh, kind of have to keep going. Our hydroponics, I guess... Nothing bad's gonna happen if we uh, if we don't have any water stored up for uh, a day and a half. It's after you start getting a little bit further than that that it starts to get a little sketchy, just a little bit. Okay, is this done here? Yep. Good. That goes there. That goes there. Uh, let's deprioritize this. We no longer need to worry about this as much. Definitely, uh, I only want to do the bottom level. I guess it doesn't let me do that. So they should do this in the order that I put it in, which actually might not be ideal. Because I think that's going to be first. But maybe it doesn't have to be uh, something stressful. But yeah, we are pretty much completely out of water. Unfortunately, I know. Oh, you're, you turn off your water dumps. Well, no, because I, I need that. <laughs> we, we need We need to make use of that. The rest of this is uh, very slowly progressing, though, making decent progress. I do need to get these uh, last few bits over here uh, blown up so we can <laughs> so we can have uh, the bad water actually spill out of the top before it uh, overtops and floods all of this. So, yeah, let's let's get these guys going Oh, and We're thirsty. I'm sorry. There's only half a day left. You're not going to die yet. You're going to be OK. You're, you're going to be thirsty. But you're you're gonna be all right. You'll be fine. Be a big boy. Put on your big boy pants. Are these all prioritized? Yes, they are. Okay. No, oh, well, they they haven't even started with this yet. I really hope this doesn't flood. I I don't think it will. If it does, that's bad news. All right. Is this uh, looking okay? Point two days, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just automatically get this done. So we can, you know, take care of all that. But drought's over. And now it's cycle 21, day one. Which means we get water coming in. And hopefully nobody died of thirst. I don't think they even could in two days, but, you know, you never know. Um, yep, we're thirsty. We are very thirsty beavers. Oh no, it's all going to go away. 
<laughs> it's all going to flow out here. Maybe not all of it, but definitely, uh, definitely some of it. Well, let's get these guys back to work here. Pumping away. I guess I have to lower this now. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, 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 you know what this does? This, at least for right now, almost completely diverts the bad water. I, I can see it creeping, creeping in, but that actually helps it uh, be substantially less likely to go this way. We will have to be very careful about uh, water coming up here. I think our contamination probably still should be zero based on the fact that there's water flowing out past this. But there's always a chance that it could become contaminated. Looks good for now, though. So let's come over here. Have we finished? Almost. We're very, 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 very close to getting this done, and uh, I definitely don't want this to overtop. So we'll need to make sure we're Staying on top of that. Extract-wise, we're looking good. I probably didn't need to build three centrifuges. But, you know, it is what it is. And now here they come over here to finish these. We should actually be able to set this off pretty quickly here. We just have three left, and I think they have materials. No, they don't. Okay, well, one of them has some of the materials. So we'll leave that alone. Uh... Couple more of these guys. I guess I could set these off, but I oh no, I need them to be able to harvest this, so we won't mess with that yet. Oh, we're all so thirsty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're we're trying. We're trying. We're pumping. It's gonna be all right. Are we contaminated yet? No contamination. Love to see it. But I, I do have to wonder what they're building first, because it sure isn't this. I guess. Oh, and that and they're actually they're all over here. I already answered my own question. Come on, finish this. Excellent. I forgot to put two here. <laughs> All right, so let's do that real quick. I was sitting there about to click the uh, the button, and it, I was just like, you know what? No, we're 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 gonna be smart today. We're we're not gonna choose to be dumb. So they should be able to get at this pretty quick as a high priority job. And yeah, we're looking good. Just got to get the beavers over here. And then once that's done, they can finally, uh, well, maybe eventually get to this. We'll see. All right, I see materials. I see now that one's got all of them. Send somebody up here, man. I want to see all this blow up. Slowly, slowly spooling back up with more and more power. More and more power. Now we're looking over here. Any progress to speak of whatsoever? Probably not, honestly, because everybody's so thirsty. We still still have not caught back up. Oh, that's rough. That's so rough. Uh, why is this out of... Um... Oh. That would be why. Because nobody was here because we ran out of beavers. Makes sense. So let's get somebody to drop this water out. And then I can uh, deprioritize it again. I think this one is, yep, that's occupied. Really? Nobody's, the guy hasn't shown up yet? Come on. Just drop some water out. These trees aren't, don't think, oh, they're close though. Well, relatively. And we still have less than 20 water. Yikes, man. All right, come on, drop some water in this thing. It's in there. You just have to go to work and do it. There he is. All right, now I see, now I see them starting to build this. Very, uh, very slow process. But it's getting done, which is good news. And this is actually ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, just violently detonate all of this dynamite. Oh yes, look at this. This is a thing of beauty. And not a moment too soon, because... <laughs> Look at this. It was already about to overtop, but that, yeah, that's that's going there. So now once this gets pumped out, we can harvest these trees. Not that we really need to, honestly, but 
Uh, we can uh, we can sure try. We can get there. Oh, this is all... That's connected to the other district. I might not have been intelligent when I did this. I guess we could just... Uh, we could just go with that. So I need to put in stairs here. And then... Uh, is it going to be faster to build... Nah, I'll, just, I'll just do this. Might as well keep them out of the uh, the danger zone here. Cut these trees down, and then we will uh, we'll blast this out. And then I can have uh, the rest of this taken care of, too. I think I can... Uh... No, I'd have to have a staircase going down to the Badwater, and I don't want that to be a thing yet. Yep, that is... We still don't have a lot of water. All right. Aren't they making any progress over here? I guess they are, and this is still uh, still pumping. But we need water storage over here. I, I, I just don't want to build a big one because I know it's going to be underwater. Uh, I guess I guess it's fine. I'll just put it up here. But we need to have somewhere for them to drop stuff off and not worry about it. So that's going to be yeah, become a source. And then they can at least... Uh, Go over there to drop that off in that spot. But eventually this will get turned into something else. Uh, that can go there. That can go there. That'll be fine. I'll just make the world's ugliest, ugliest thing over here. Now we definitely, uh, definitely could use some more beavers, but I'm kind of reluctant to add more while we have such a problem with our water supply. It is what it is. Just the way it goes. But the bad water has been diverted and we're pumping. So this should theoretically uh, get pumped dry before too long. And these guys can uh, gather all of their wood. I think we have extra beavers. Yes, we sure do. So this guy can get right to work. And we have no wood storage in this district, which I guess is uh, a little less than ideal. But they can export it. That's not a big deal. So if this is all completely dammed up, then I can actually just demolish this entire uh, this entire top thing. But we do have to have uh, we have to have higher uh, what do you call these things? Levees. That's what they are. We have to have higher levees everywhere. But now that I don't need to get beavers over here, I think I can get away with having uh, this whole thing removed. Make sure this is actually. Uh, Levied. And then... Yeah, because these guys can actually start building part of this too. We can just have this whole thing come up like so. Double levy it. And that will get us uh, a lot closer to where we want to be. And then uh, I need to get these guys across here some other way. But that's going to be expensive. Unless I just get rid of... Uh, uh, do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? Can I Can I even do that? So I need to get this across here. And then I've got to get the power through this. But I'm going to have to use the high power shafts to have this come up and over. But I can pre-build this part, at least. So uh, that's not going to be nearly as much of a problem here. I can just replace the crucial components a little bit later. I think they should be able to reach this from somewhere. But the gist is, uh, build all this, and then I just have to replace this one with a high power shaft and this one with a uh, platform and a straight power shaft. And then they can just walk across here, and then I can completely close this in. So that should be all well and good. And I think we can attach... The, yeah, yeah. now we have an almost full explosive storage we can attach to uh, this area down here. Once we get that all taken care of. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick that there. They can just walk across as soon as this other entrance is all done. So let's prioritize all of this, shall we? 
seems like a uh, smart idea. Come over here in the corner. Yep, they'll get that done first. How are things going over here? Okay, they've built a, they built a little bit of it. Uh, let's make sure that's prioritized. Yeah, that should help. We're getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. I'm just so curious to see if we can actually uh, build all of this without having to cut down any more trees. I don't think we're going to be able to yet yeah, because there's only a few and these are uh, those are just pine trees. So we are going to have to import wood, but I think, yeah, they can both, both districts can reach this. Planks. Uh, distribution of wood is, yep, that's always import. Except now this district has almost none because these guys haven't... Uh, haven't gotten to work hauling stuff in yet. Oh, this is actually completely empty. Good. That means we can begin the process of uh, blasting all this out. So I can theoretically... What? Oh, I don't have my depth thing. Okay. Oh, how, how low is this? Will it let me place... Okay, so it lets me place triple dynamite. Can I... Uh... Can I kind of estimate, based off the size of the outside of the map, how deep that's going to be? All right, so this... This is the same height here as, I believe, this. Okay, that this, this guy can go away. He can go work in the district crossing. So this height right here is one block below this which is two blocks below this. So that's a three height elevation change. This looks to be at least, at least seven. Seven might actually be the number, including the bottom. So I could blast down six, which means I could have this down a full three deep from this spot. Let's, uh, let's try that out. I'm very, very curious if I can actually make this work. So I know I can, I know I can get that done Pretty, uh, pretty quick. Once they have access to explosives. And they do, they just, well, have to get them from over there. Once I can tap into this after these uh, levees are all complete. Then we'll see. Do I have to set this to import? Uh, oh, they need extract to do that. I guess I have to turn that on. Where is... Okay, I got bad waters already like that. Extract, always import. So that should allow us to do the triple dynamites. Is dynamite set to automatically import? Yes, now it is. Here we go. I just need these last couple to get put in place. Uh, this is... Oh, this is going to take some time to uh, actually put in place. How are we doing on... Oh, we're making power up here. We'll be fine if I cut this off. That's going to have to go away. That's going to have to go away, go away, go away, go away. Uh, here and here. Let's try to get this as best as we can. That'll go here. And of course, this is probably all going to get ripped out anyway, but it's fine. We make, we make things work. Another drought, so no, no bad tie today. We'll have to wait until Friday's video to see if we get one next time, but there's still plenty we can do today. Yeah, we just got to get our explosives in place because I want to see if it's going to let me blast down any more. Because I think eventually we're going to want and need a bunch of bad water. So let's let's blast this. And now, if it lets me place another dynamite, I know. Oh, there's more. Can I can I put a double? I can. I can put a triple. Oh, okay, it's got to be it's got to be clowning me. So how I'm go, I'm gonna put triples down, Let's see uh, see if it actually is clowning me here. Okay, is this fully connected? Yeah, they can reach that. So now this is no longer a concern. This can be removed. That can be gotten rid of. And more importantly, I can put this levy in like that. And they can. Everybody can reach that. All right, so I've got triples here. How far down did that go? I don't think it went three down. Oh, 
it literally uh it literally just went down one more <laughs> okay so we can we can do we can do four more four more down so i guess that's gonna be a triple and a single or just two uh two doubles the same amount of resources is just uh maybe a little bit more annoying um, 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 um yeah that's gonna actually be kind of irritating to uh to do so that's that's a triple and a single. This would be a triple and a double. Um, I at least want to have these guys go all the way down in this specific area where the uh, the pumps can, well, pump from. Since this is already dry, um, we'll do... Maybe I'll just do this one, one segment right here so everything can kind of drain into it. And then everything else can, well, be whatever it is. But I'm not going to be worried about uh, bad water because I don't have to be. These guys could be good to go. This will be... Uh, okay, I guess this is kind of misaligned, which is unfortunate, but... Hope you're all right. We're big boys. We can handle it. So that's going to have to go down also. Just have to be a little bit careful about this. Make sure we don't do something stupid accidentally. If you're ever going to do something stupid, make sure it's on purpose. Right, rather that. I haven't checked on this in a while. How's this looking? Okay, cool. Made some really, really good progress here. So this just needs to be uh, double height over here. And then I've got to rip the bridge out and we've got to put that in uh, two blocks higher. So this actually could go like this, and then I just have to have the one done. Now we have 1,700 water stored. That's not really enough, unfortunately, to get through a drought. Unless it's not super long. I know the longest it can be is nine days. We didn't even continue expanding this. I know I, I, I kept saying I'm trying to do this, but I don't know. I get distracted. Always, always get distracted, but you know what it is. At least we have, at least we have some water stored up. 1,700 is a decent bit, but um, yeah, oh, I forgot to flood this. Well, now it's, now it's flooding. Hopefully some of it goes in here. It might not even reach it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tiny bit here. Well, that's uh that's fine. That's the way it goes. I think I had to have that be a uh be a triple. Well. Not gonna lose sleep over it, we'll see. Just how far down this lets me go. Okay, good. That's all the way down. And that's going to be all the way down. Oh, that wasn't deep enough? Oh, no. I, I absolutely already knew that wasn't deep enough. I don't know what in the world I was thinking here. Yep, that's just that one. Okay, single dynamite. Come on down. I know they can't reach this. So we'll have to begin construction of our little scaffolding here. Uh, double high, this will have to be triple high. And then this will have to be just ridiculously high over here. Uh, can I? Yeah, it's going to have to be... I guess I'll do a double on the bottom and then... Two... Uh, nope, I didn't even need to do that. A double, a double, and then a triple on top to make sure that matches... Not that it really matters, but you, you know how this works at this point. <laughs> if you, you've been around long enough. That's just the way this thing goes. So then once this gets put in place, we'll be able to have that all done. And then I can put one, two, three, four, five. And then if I can get into this, I can make this go out as well. That is not going to be tall enough. going to have to have a... Uh, something here oh that's easy I can just I can just have this 
this side blasted out. That's not going to let me fit that up there, but I just need to make sure this is the correct height because this is going to be uh, built upon anyway. That's fine. All right. 2,000 water. Not, uh, not bad. Not in bad shape. So this is now completely dry. Let's pause these. And I'm going to send all these beavers out of here. I'm going to try to at least pause this thing. Everybody, everybody get out of town. You too. Haulers taking stuff away. Get out of here. All right, everybody's out. So that means I can get rid of the bridge. Yes. And now I've got to have this go up two more blocks, which means... This has to now come out from here, which means it's... Oh, this is going to be ugly. Eh. It's fine. I'll put this here. Uh, that's going to have to go substantially longer. Oh, I'm going to have to use the metal, aren't I? Okay, so if I do a 4x4x four by, four by bridge here, that will actually... Uh, oh, that'll be perfect once I have the uh, levees in place, which I can't get to. All right, not my uh, not my smartest moment. <laughs> definitely, definitely not my smartest moment. But um, uh, there is an uncomfortable uh, uncomfortable reality to this, and that is uh, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to get some beavers dirty here to uh, <laughs> to get across the way. Oh man, I should have seen this coming. This has got to, uh, oh, this sucks. This is, this is absolute garbage. Um, you know, you know what, you know what? <laughs> I'll just do this. I'll just do that. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get this, uh, we'll get this correctly constructed. And then, uh, then we just, we just won't worry about it. It's just... Just uh, don't don't tell your friends, or maybe do. They might think it's funny. So uh, we're gonna ignore that for a little bit. <laughs> Come back over here. How all of this is uh, shaping up. Uh, now that I don't think we have to get over here anymore, I am going to go ahead and uh, start tearing this up. This is all going to have to be replaced. Uh, I guess this this platform probably doesn't strictly speaking have to be replaced. I can just kind of kind of deal with it and build off to the side. But I was gonna try and put some additional uh, some additional uh, pumps over here. So I, I guess maybe I do do actually need to care about this. So that would go here and here, and that would go here and here. But then this needs to go away. Yeah, 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 that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, this is two blocks. Yes, let's do that. Bring this all the way out here. You're using a whole lot of wood. Yes, I am. Thank you for noticing. Um, this is completely absurd, honestly. But you want bad water production, you got to have the infrastructure for it. So that's... Uh, that's where we're at. I'm not going to bust any of the rest of this up. I think the, having the uh, pit of despair, or whatever you want to call it, is probably fine. Probably fine. We'll just have this be completely stacked over here. Yeah, I just got to keep this going. Plenty, uh, plenty more to get done here. Just blast away until we can't blast anything else. That's a uh, recipe for success, right? Meanwhile, over here in the land of shame, um, <laughs> this is uh, going predictably, as as one does. But I think that's... Why is this in a straight line like this? This is going to be a, uh, a fun problem to solve. I think I'm going to have to have uh, the paths come out this way. Because I originally was just going to have uh, the bridge start be here. But I, yeah, I'm gonna have to have, I have to have this connected. It's not all bad news though. We still have water. Have plenty of food, plenty of ingredients for food, 
who are doing quite well in almost everything else. But now, now we're up against the uh, the end of the drought, and that is where I typically would want to end the episode. But there's so much more building that has to get done. I kind of don't want to, but it's also an hour long already, and uh, that's about the limit you guys are willing to uh, withstand in most cases. So I, I'll try not to push my luck too much. Can they can they finish this though before uh, before it's too late? I'm not sure. I don't I don't know that they can. But at least we're not having any beavers die of an infection or starvation or anything like that. I guess we can count that as a win. Just got to get this uh, in place, ready to go here. Now, when we come off the other side of this levee, we're going to have to have some stairs down. So let's uh, go ahead and put that in place. This guy right here. This guy right here. This, of course, will probably get ripped out anyway. Uh, because once we flood all this, this isn't going to be relevant. But for right now, it is fine. We're doing fantastic. Absolutely nothing to complain about whatsoever. <laughs> so uh, we'll uh, we'll just do what we got to do here. Yeah, they still haven't gotten that one done. Yeah, big building projects unfortunately take a very long time, and it's it's very easy to get. Uh, to get bogged down and there's so much other stuff I wanted to do like I really wanted to build that other storage area over here but it, it, again the giant building projects take a super long amount of time and uh, that's that's just what it is just the way it goes good news though is that this is getting close oh they can't reach it you know why they can't reach it because I have stairs in the way like an idiot uh all right, so guess what? That means we get to do uh, get to do some of these. So while they attempt to construct, in spite of my failures, I guess we can go ahead and start getting you guys out of here. It's the beginning of cycle twenty-two. So yeah, uh, it might not look like it, but we did get actually a lot accomplished. Coming across the river on this side, uh, I think was a good decision because now we have can't I have to move the mouse too. Um, now we have all of this. We can't get to it. Well, I guess now we can. But we have all of this stuff in place uh, to help us hopefully not completely flood everything. Well, now it actually is completely flooding everything. But I don't want the bad water to get involved. Now it can come across. And once this starts diluting a little bit more, then I think we'll be in, uh, I think we'll be in good shape. What's our what's our contamination? Zero percent. I guess I shouldn't really expect any bad water to get in here. It would not make uh, too much sense based on how water flow actually works. But yep, this is uh, just about done. Just about, and I just <laughs> oh no, I gotta I gotta I gotta pull this out the uh, the rest of the way here. And this is uh oh boy, yeah, that's uh that's a, a real winning strategy. <laughs> came up with here so now now I've got to uh, I gotta pull these things up one piece at a time one piece at a time didn't you say you're gonna end the episode I sure did and guess what I I'm not always <laughs> not always able to get this done exactly how I like but that's uh, that's the way she goes so we'll just have to keep on uh, riding this train until we can't anymore Good news, though, is that this should not take that long. Just have to keep monitoring this. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys, especially the support on this specific series has been fantastic beyond my wildest dreams. I think the first episode, actually, let me let me go ahead and look this up. The first episode of this series, last time I checked, had over 20,000 views in a week, which is just absolutely insane. And looking at my analytics now, it's, oh, my God, it's almost 30. 29,300 views since September 28th. I can't believe it. You guys are awesome. Uh, a lot of enthusiasm for this series and Update 5 as a whole. So really, really thank you for all of the fantastic support on this. We have plenty more coming, but we do have to get back to our regular series because uh, I know people are very excited to see those as well. 
So that is uh, what we'll be doing tomorrow back in with the Folktales modded version, uh, playing with our trains and finally getting into some more industrial stuff in that uh, Cascadia district there. And then back to the Water Beepers on Wednesday, back again with the Folktales on Thursday. And I need to pause this because they're actually not picking this up. Um, and then we'll be back in this playthrough on Friday. So if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, uh, roasts, whatever about what happened to this episode, I'm all ears. Uh, I, I do read every single comment, and I very, very much appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch these videos and just have a good time playing some Timberborn with me. It really, really is fun, and uh, I absolutely could not do it without support of you guys and also the Beard Boosters who uh, have their contributions really making it possible for me to do this each and every day as something that is more and more dominating what I do professionally, I guess. Call me a professional Timberborn player, if that's even applicable as a real job. But yeah, this is uh, this is the kind of support on these videos that enables me to do this kind of thing more or less full-time, so really appreciate it. And I hope that if you have any uh, anything you'd like to see, you'll let me know. I do, like I said, read all the comments, and I want to take all of your stuff into account because it is a Let's Play series, not a Watch Me Play series. I think I'd say that probably too much. But, oh, now we're out of storage? Well, guess what? I'm out of wanting to keep the rubble, so <laughs> I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Let's just get this uh, rocking and rolling here. No storage. I think... I think now I can put in the, uh, the four by bridge here. Yep, perfect. Now they can build that, and that is going to be the end of this episode as they come in here and construct all of this stuff. But yeah, again, really appreciate the support. It is beyond my wildest expectations. I'm very, very thankful for you, whether this is the first video of mine you've seen or the 525th or however many videos I published on this YouTube channel. Really, really appreciate it. And I hope whatever you're doing, you have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.